What does a school-based apprentice or trainee look like? Let me put together a picture using a nine piece jigsaw puzzle. The most important piece of the picture is you. You need to decide what type of work interests you, where you see yourself working and how you plan to get there. You need to be motivated to work and build your skills. You need to be dedicated to the next seven terms of your HSC for a successful outcome. Can you see yourself doing this? Family support is essential. Your family need to agree with you doing an apprenticeship or traineeship as part of your HSC. Family sometimes needs to be convinced that you know what you're doing, as this HSC journey is different to the HSC journey of some of your friends and peers. You need your family networks to help source an employer. This means family friends, aunts, uncles, and business acquaintances. Your family may even need to assist you to get to a work site on time. Social and sport is important to most young adults, spending time doing what you like to do outside of school. However, these things can take time away from your HSC commitments. Remember, it's only seven terms of time in a lifetime. You may need to adjust the amount of time given to your apprenticeship or traineeship journey. For example, if you play sport on a Saturday and your employer needs you to work on a Saturday, which one are you going to choose? Your HSC is the commencement of your career pathway. You will be ahead of everyone else studying a normal HSC. You will be studying up to three VET subjects, all of them supporting your main area of work. This is unique to Southern Cross, so consider this carefully. You will be doing a practical HSC and therefore it will be meaningful to you. Your VET coursework is the theory component of your training contract, the off the job component. You can't be a school-based apprentice or trainee without this off the job training. The RTO is the registered training organisation. At Southern Cross College, Sydney Catholic Schools is the main RTO. However, TAFE is an RTO used for most of our apprentices. The RTO delivers your VET training with nationally recognised certificates. Employees industry specialists to teach you how it's done in the industry. The RTO enters the results into NESA, including the numbers of paid work you have done for your apprenticeship or traineeship. NESA is the New South Wales Education Standards Authority. NESA provides you with units towards your HSC for your apprenticeship or traineeship. How's that? Pretty good, isn't it? NESA issues your HSC, including your vocational certificates. You will need to provide your vocational certificate to your employer for them to be eligible to receive the government incentive payment. An apprenticeship centre and training services in the New South Wales Government are both involved in signing up your apprenticeship or traineeship. An apprenticeship centre meets with you and your employer at your workplace. They make sure you both know the legal side to the sign up. They prepare and submit your training contract to training services. Training services oversees all apprenticeships and traineeships in New South Wales including your apprenticeship or traineeship. This means you are a real apprentice or trainee and come under the same awards as a full-time apprentice or trainee. Your logbook verified workdays are submitted by the college to both these agencies to give you recognition of your achievements. Your employer signs the training contract and agrees to provide you with a safe workplace and the days required to complete the qualification. Work days range from 100 to 180 days, depending on what qualification you are studying. They provide you with the practical experience required for your training contract. Your employer pays you an hourly rate under an industry award. Your employer verifies your logbook. Your employer needs you to communicate with them. Ask them questions to show that you're willing to learn. Your employer can be a mentor. Your employer can be a family member or a friend of your family. On the job is an important component of your training contract. 
Work is the on-the-job part of your HSC and is recorded in an online logbook so you have a legal record of your on-the-job component. The college allocates Fridays during school term for the on-the-job component. Other days can be negotiated, but you do need to catch up on subjects missed. One day a week in Year 11, plus holidays and work placement block weeks. Two days a week is possible in HSC year, plus holidays and work placement block weeks. Post HSC, which is fourth term of Year 12, full time is recommended. This is also a benefit to your employer. Work means earning money, learning new skills, gaining experiences, growing up and being self-reliant. So that's what your HSC can look like as an apprentice or trainee. All nine pieces of the picture are needed to fit together to make the picture whole. You are at the centre of the picture, so you have this opportunity to make this picture a real apprentice or trainee.